heritage. So this is where you belong. So are we scared of death? They tried to diminish our free will. So God made us in his image. And God himself had a free will. You know what I'm saying? God is very nice, but... But no is we, are we no more God, 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 God has, you know, the ultimate, but we don't have free will. We don't have the... Do? We are capable of good and bad. We're, we're, we're capable of making choices. If you go in that store, you got a bunch of choices. But if you go in that store, you got a bunch of choices to choose from, but those aren't all the choices in the world. Those are only the choices that are in that store. We're, we're, we're in a place that we don't choose. And even then, you didn't choose, like you said, you didn't choose who works there. You didn't choose who delivered that stuff off. You don't choose who owns this building. You don't choose where the money goes that that uh, that they make from this from this business. Your intentions are, but your intentions, everything is written out. There there are things that are worth more than money, but you don't have again with choices. We don't have those choices to make those things. We have these choices, and we can choose from these choices. But ultimately, our path is aligned wherever God wants us to go. It's the Book of Romans, chapter nine, verse. 19. Bring it out. Thou will say then unto me, why does he yet find fault? For who hath resisted his will? Nay, but O man, who art thou that repliest against God? Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, why hast thou made me thus? So, so the thing No, that right there proves that we don't have free will. That means that we, that proves right there that we can't be asking God, why did you make it this way? Why are we in this situation? That means that we can't go against what it is that he set forth. Okay, so you said look at your own self. So who, you have to control yourself. You said control yourself. Who, who made you? God made me in his image. God made you. The first part of what you said is fine. God made you. God made you. So if he made you, that means that everything that you have, everything that you're going off, everything you operate off of, that means that he put that in there, in, in you, to operate that way. So that means every decision that you make, he, if he knows the um, numbers of hairs on your head, you don't think that he knows every decision that you're going to make? You don't think that he knows what's coming out of your mouth? You don't think that he knew that you were going to be here this day at this time, and you're going to be hearing this thing, and you were going to learn today that you don't actually have the free will, that this was predestined for you to come up to this place? You might have tried to do whatever, whatever it is that you wanted to do, and God God was like, you know what? I know I'm taking okay, you to this corner store. Right. Also, I have an opinion. And okay, we have a choice. That's your that's your opinion. If, which, 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 if I if 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 um if Christ didn't have a choice, what makes you think that you have a choice? Did Christ have a choice? He made the right choice. God wants for us to make the right choice. He did? All right, that's go right. ahead. Because right. Christ, Christ asked... His own purpose. He did that. Christ asked God a question. Christ, Christ asked God a serious question. It was about what he was saying here. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 42. Bring it up. He went away again the second time and prayed, saying, Oh, my Father, if this cup may not pass away from me except I drink it, thy will be done. That means he's asking... Do, is this something that I have to do? Is there any other way that this can be done? Knowing what he was sent down here to do, he's asking, is there any other way that this can be done? And then ultimately... But hold on, hold on, hold on. At the end at the end of that, he said something, he said something important. Oh, my father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, thy will be done. Thy will be done. Not my will be done, right. not my choices, right. thy will be done. That means that whatever was going to be done anyway is going to happen. I can ask all the questions that I want to ask, but it's not going to deviate me from the path that I need to go. I, I can All the decisions that I want to make, I can make those decisions, but God is directing my path. Your will be done. There's nothing, there's nothing that we can do that's outside of God's will. So this brother was asking, when are we going to take over? When are we going to get, get ourselves together as a people and do things? It's not, it's not in our control. No, what I'm doing right now is because of what I'm, what I'm predestined to do. And I, I, I'll tell you from this point, I used to, uh, when I was little, all the time, I'd be riding in the car all the time. And it would just, it would be something, I'd, it would be like, what if God wants you to teach? What if God wants you to teach? And to me, that meant a preacher. So I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to be a preacher. I don't want to come up with a sermon all the time. I don't want to have to deal with churches and I don't want to be a preacher, right? That was not something that I wanted to do. What am I doing right now? I'm That's reading, right. I'm reading out the Bible. But I'm telling mother, people about God. Said, it's not my choice. Listen, listen to the brother. Instead of 
like um we, we go through a lot of pain. My my great grandma, my grand's uh all spiritual and everything, um been in church, my you know, the whole look, the whole shebang. Everybody did it wrong, did it right, you know, been through the whole little shebang. Um trying to you know, cause you see people like this, they come and think they know what they're talking about. But my thing <laughs> is I wanna be able to be like we ain't can, you know, when is our start? Mm -hmm. Like when is the uh, our progress um like un it's understandable of praying. It's understandable of um, you know, you know, just being like, all right, we wait to God move or God move in Obey us to God, do that. We but we going through so much in life, like, you know, to the point like, you know, I got kids now. Mm -hmm. And I you know, my eyes is open. Um I had dreams of, you know, going, you know, having these wars and everything. But I'm trying to figure out, like, you know, not trying to figure out, but when this, like, this right here shouldn't, you know, like, we should already have our a goddamn foot in the ground. <laughs> we do. I can, I, I, from, from what you're asking, I can tell you it's already started. I can tell you, I can tell you that much. And then this brother got a precept to sort of drive that point home. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 17. Bring it up. And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as an heathen man and a pub publican. That's right. So then that was that was going more so along with that. You know, we're telling them. Yeah. And like you said, there's people that come up that think they know what they're talking about that are trying to disperse yeah. this information. But like I was telling you other uh, earlier, that stuff is, is a distraction. Exactly. All that stuff is a distraction. Uh, so, like, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 17. Bring it out. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. That is God. That's right. But if thou wilt in enter into life, keep the commandments. That's right. So like you were asking, I told you, it's always going to come back to these commandments. Nowhere to, no matter where you read in this book, is always going to tell you to go back to the commandments. That's our. Five. Can you get uh, Ecclesiastes twelve and thirteen? Uh, there's a beautiful uh, verse in the Bible that tells us that drives that point home. And like I said, a lot these words aren't mine, right? It's in the Bible. It's the Book of Ecclesiastes, chapter twelve, verse thirteen. Bring it out. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Fear God, keep His commandments. And those answers, I trust me. Like we're we're anxious too. <laughs> we we want this to be over. We like all right. This this holy day is here. Hopefully we can spend the next one in the kingdom, right? At least in the wilderness. You know what I'm saying? Like all this stuff. We 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 are anxious as well. We got that same spirit. You got the right type of spirit. You just got to put the right actions behind it. And coming back to these law, statutes, and commandments, keeping that fear of God, keeping that that fear of Christ, everything that He came down to do for us. Like I said. I,